welcome back. Got a treat here for anyone that's ever enjoyed a James Bond movie. The Walther PPK is back, and that's what we'll be taking a look at next on GBQ. So the PPK, the Bond gun, beautiful, very handsome, highly copied design had to be dropped from import a while back due to a point system. It's this silly game that manufacturers have to make with the ATF to import guns of sporting purposes, etc. Barrels have to be a certain length, has to have so many safety features, things like that. Kind of ridiculous. They had the PPKS. This is a PPKS as well. Um, and then they stopped those because it was just too much of a hassle to import them. But you notice says Fort Smith, Arkansas on this side, and Karl Walther Waffenfabrik Um on that side. That's because this gun is American-made frame, German-made slide. So it's pretty cool. We're lucky enough to have an early pre-production model so that there's something available for you guys to look at when the word comes out. That means that what comes in the case is a little different from your standard. Of course, we have our federally mandated trigger lock and things like that. Um, but we don't have the test target or those things that you normally get. Just this beautiful, beautiful little guy. Let me zoom in because it's so small and we'll take a look. So, gorgeous, gorgeous gun. Let's take a look around. We can see that it's empty. Drop the mag. Mag doesn't have much pressure on it when the slide is open. Let's see how the finger rest one, which, oh, look at that. Even with my large hands, I can get a whole grip on this BBKS. Chambered in 380, as the original was. We've got witness windows on the magazines. Beautiful stainless magazines. Left side tells you if it's full or not. Right side tells you how many numbers, how many rounds you have in there. A flush fit. So you notice there is no slide stop. That is correct. That's the way these things were made. They lock open on an empty magazine and release by just pulling the slide back. Come around the front. There's slide to frame. Looks like a little bit of side to side. No vertical spacing. But you know what? That doesn't matter as much on these because it's a fixed barrel. Of course, no rail. I mean, I, <laughs> I want to mention these things because this is stuff that's on modern guns. This is uh, not a modern gun per se in that sense. Um, this is a, a recreation of a design that's been around for decades. Magazine release is up high, stays out of the way of your thumb, shielded by the grips. Smooth front, straight cut bottom. These are meant as a pocket gun, not a speed reload competition gun. If you want something like that, we have other solutions for you. No serrations on the back. Slide to frame, we do have a little side to side there. As I mentioned, this is a pre-production version I was lucky enough to get my hands on. Beautiful. Now this is a safety in decocker. So we've got the hammer back. Listen to that. It's like glass. So your trigger comes to a wall. Crisp break, a reset, right there. You hear it sound like a paper clip dropping. Very crisp break again. One more for the uh, reset. That's how soft it is. Now you can decock, leave it down, you've got a dead trigger, push it back forward. Now you've got a double action. Let's see what the double action pull is like. Fairly heavy. But smooth, no perceivable stacking. Try to go as slow as I can, see if we can find any stacks. Now, in fact, you can almost, you can stage it. Pause, pause right there. Nope, pause right <laughs> there. Then <laughs> it'll break. Sorry, I haven't learned this trigger quite yet. I do have the uh, eyelet style hammer. It's nice and serrated. Take a look at our sights. The sights are integrated. Part of the slide and you've got two red dots one at the base of the rear sight and a red dot on your front sight nice wavy pattern anti-glare on the top there very beautiful gun 
Next, let's take a look inside the gun. So field stripping these is uh, a little bit different than what we're used to in the modern age. Somewhat, uh, if you've done a Makarov uh, or a Grand Power, it's kind of along those lines in that the slide's gonna be coming off the back of the frame. So we're gonna pull this piece down and rest it to the side, trigger guard, bring the slide back up and let it go forward and off. And there it is. Spring is not fixed, so that is replaceable, which is good. The barrel is. You can see that beautiful feed ramp there. Nicely polished. I don't think there's anything that's not gonna feed from that. Get a magazine in to look at how the alignment is. Yeah, the round can even be a little nose down. It's still gonna hit a ramp and head right on in there. You can see what functions as our slide stop. When the empty magazine is in there, it pushes this bar up and that prevents the slide from going forward. Look at that machining. I mean, it's a near mirror finish. I hope the camera's able to get all this. It's gonna be a lot of glare on this thing. It's so shiny. Very handsome gun. Another slide, looking inside nice and clean. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Looks like we don't have the uh, modern drop safety, or really many of the modern things that uh, a lot of us have come to kind of expect or consider to be standard. I'll leave a finger here, keep this out of the way. I'm gonna go spring and barrel into the slide, bring it back and down, let the trigger guard back in there, and our gun is now ready to go again. Gorgeous gun. We'll take this out to the range and of course do what's for dinner to see how modern hollow points and defensive rounds do in this older design. I don't think there'll be a single problem and uh, get some shooting impressions. I love that this tail is nice and long so that a guy with meaty hands like myself doesn't have to worry about slide bite. You can see there's plenty of room there and obviously the hammer can't ever bite me. It's blocked by that tail. Gorgeous gun. The Walther PPKS. Very excited to have it. Look for the shooting impressions video coming out soon. Thanks for watching.